And we are on the last wave of the busy holiday travel season, and things are picking up at LAX, where it's going to be a bustling night. This is a live look at the airport from our LAX camera. Traffic has been steady all day and is expected to get worse as the night goes on. CBS 2's Leslie Marine is live at LAX, where travelers are buzzing to get to their destinations. Leslie. <laughs> Pat, yeah, it's another super peak travel day. And in fact, we are in the middle of one of the busiest times here at the airport. Take a look. We're in front of the Tom Bradley terminal. You can see traffic beginning to build right now. Airport officials say the airport will be busy until 10 p.m. tonight. I'm trying to get my T's crossed and I's dotted and you know, ready to leave. Like many of today's travelers, Tom Gandley wanted to get in and through LAX as quick as possible. Don't come to LAX too often, but it's been, you know, complicated. It's not as bad as I thought it might be. <laughs> Helen Duckett had a much better experience despite traveling from New Zealand and spending nearly an entire day in the air. That'll be four flights altogether, so it's a long way. It's about a 24-hour trip altogether, so we'll be glad to get home. Most people we spoke to were just ready to get through this busy holiday travel season. Since December 19th, LAX officials have reported six super peak travel days. By the end, the airport expects to have dealt with 5.9 million people. We were here on uh, the 21st of December and it was pretty crazy then. But unfortunately, today is no different. Officials expect 249,000 people to go through LAX. The good news, it's the last day of the holiday super peak season. And Father Craig Rosales is also in the final stretch. We had to park in the long term section that we've never had done before, but things have moved along pretty quick. You know, we'll see if our luggage comes out. We've not got our luggage in the past, so this is like the final little last section, the home stretch. He and his wife are both battling colds while traveling with their three young boys. And while he may have a lot to complain about, he's trying to keep positive. Uh, it could be worse. Nobody threw up today, you know. <laughs> Nobody lost anything, so it's not so bad. We're just a little under the weather, so we're ready to go home and sit on the couch. You have to look at the bright side of things. The peak times at the airport again from 6 to 10 tonight. If you are dropping someone off, you may want to try doing it in the arrivals area. That area is just a little bit quicker sometimes than departures. And of course, get here two hours before your departure. Reporting live from LAX, Leslie Manning, CBS 2 News. All right, thanks, Leslie.